I mean, I am digging this today. We're going to talk so much art. And in fact, there is a new exhibit at the Museum of Fine Art in St. Petersburg, which highlights the visionary work of Prince Twin 77, who was the only surviving child out of seven pairs of twins born to his mother. And because of this, he felt that he possessed unique spiritual insight and power, which led to some artwork that we're ready to talk about now. Joining me now is Genevieve Hill Thomas, curator of multiple Prince Twin 77. Welcome, Genevieve. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. So already the title is kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, this sounds like a very interesting person that we're diving into with this exhibit. Is that true? It is, absolutely. Prince Twin 77 was a fabulous artist, and he didn't just limit himself to the visual arts. He was also a singer and a dancer. So in the galleries, we're able to hear the music that he sang at the same time as seeing the works that he produced at the same time. So many times I know as someone as a curator like yourself, you want people to experience all different kinds of emotions when they go into an exhibit. That just lends itself yes. becoming all immersive, <laughs> right? It is, it's wonderful. It's quite the experience, especially being able to step in and see all these different types of works that he created. We're taking a look right now at an example. Tell us what we're seeing on the screen, if you don't mind. Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, so this is his, um, it, it's an etching. So the medium is a multiple in itself because a plate is etched and then it can be inked and printed multiple times. Okay. And in particular, that is a portrait of what he calls an African princess in cultural shock on a trip to New York. Oh. Now, he was a twin, of course, and his sister was female, but she passed away at a very early age, and he believed that her spirit resided in him, too. So he was both male and female at once. Oh. So when we look at that print, we can see a couple of things that makes us think that it's a portrait of his sister, but it's also a self-portrait at the same time. You'll notice he has four scarification marks, which were identifying for him specifically. And on that portrait, his sister shares that. And then you'll see these scarifications lines that are vertical. And they're the same as, for example, on the, the very old, almost ancient, um, bronze heads from Ile Ife, which is the origin of the Yoruba people. And he was Yoruba. So all at once, it's him, it's his sister, it's a portrait, it's a self-portrait. It's contemporary modern people and ancestors all at the one time, all of these multiples existing together. So it seems like now I'm getting why you say he felt like he possessed. That's where I kind of had yeah. <laughs> Like masculine and feminine yes. kind of put together. Well, we're literally just scratching the surface. We yes. want to make sure and share the date so you can see this exhibit for yourself. One more time, multiple Prince Twin 77 is on view at the Museum of Fine Arts, of course, and it's actually going to be there through the turn of the year, January 15th. In fact, there's the website where you can go for more tickets. And uh, Genevieve, it was a treat to have you here today. Thank you so much.